Thank you. They are amazing when you see them. And when they are so high up and they still look huge. Yes, you such know, these great white tailed footage. eagles. So do look out for them, particularly around the south and, of course, off the Isle of Wight as well. Now, um, Sarah Farmer is here. I haven't seen you for a long time. It's no. lovely to see you. Back in the hot seat. Yeah, good, good. And can you bring some nice warm weather? Uh, I'm afraid I cannot. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have got storm news. We have a named storm, courtesy of the Met Office today. They've named Storm Christoph on its way. More coming up in in the forecast so we have seen quite gray skies uh, much of the day there have been some brighter glimmers mind you take a look at this weather watchers photograph sent in to us from oxfordshire just a glimmer of brightness peeping through very limited opportunities for that brightness as we look ahead in the coming days and it is courtesy of storm christoph we have some blustery conditions to come over the next 48 hours or so some heavy downpours of wet weather and some strong gusty winds as well well it's this area of low pressure which is tracking in from the Atlantic that's bringing us these stormy conditions you can see we've got some fronts heading in bringing the downpours but also notice for the southern half of the UK we've got those isobars squeezed tightly together so some blustery winds on the carts this evening we'll have some showery spells of rain initially a bit of respite before the main band of rain sweeps on through some hefty downpours to be had during the early hours you'll notice behind it it looks a little drier but we're still expecting to see some drizzly spells, some light patchy rain as we go through the early hours and indeed quite low clouds, so a murky feel perhaps with some mist and some hill fog in parts. Temperatures overnight down to six or seven at their lowest and we'll notice the breeze already beginning to pick up and that's what's in store for us as we journey on into tomorrow. Cloudy skies initially through the day, but we will have one or two brighter breaks. You'll notice the afternoon the cloud builds and then we see some showers pushing in, one or two hefty bursts. Temperatures on the mild side given the time of year and you notice those black wind arrows on the charts. We're expecting those gusts of wind to reach 35 or 45 miles per hour. Now, your inshore waters for tomorrow, the winds will be south or southwest, six to gale eight. So that blustery theme really with us right on into Wednesday. We've got further spells of wet weather in store for the whole of our region. And yes, there will be some heavy bursts. Temperatures double digits once more, but still feeling pretty miserable with all that wet weather. There's a weather warning in store overnight Wednesday into Thursday for further rain as well. Thanks, Sarah. Now... This is an interesting story. A woman in Fleet has taken her experience of the past year and used it as inspiration for a garden feature. When a tree was felled on Barbara Diggins' boundary, she called a sculpture to do something artistic with the stump. And the result really screams 2020. The scream, it couldn't be better, could it? Brilliant. You know, for 2020, it's brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Very Great apt. idea. <laughs> uh, just to say, um, we're getting quite a lot of emails in about vaccination questions uh, with tonight. So uh, if you have another question, just let us know. Thanks for watching tonight. We're back tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.